one, two. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back and joining me for another very quick tutorial. As any of you have watched my videos know, I use PowerPoint all the time for some of my Power BI tricks. So there's obviously a real need to be able to export uh, what you're creating out of PowerPoint at a very, very high resolution so that you don't you know, end up with blurry text or blurry images when you start importing some of these slides into PowerPoint that you're creating. Again, PowerPoint is not really made to be uh, kind of like a Photoshop, which is how I use it. You know, I, I make these huge PowerPoint canvases that I export as images and then I bring those into Power BI to sort of, you know, help uh, create, I, I would say, more robust, more complex, and more aesthetically friendly uh, layouts in Power BI. However, you are definitely going to need to take one extra step uh, before you start exporting things out of PowerPoint. Or as I said a moment ago, you're going to end up with kind of blurry looking images, the things that just look a little bit off when you start bringing them into Power BI. So what you need to do is super, super easy, but it does require kind of a walkthrough based on how your computer is currently set up. So for this solution, you are going to want to figure out a way to open up your command prompt. And I'm going to go ahead and drag my command prompt uh, on on my window here so that you can see what I'm doing. And you're just gonna enter a very simple command. You're gonna enter reg edit. And we're going to actually make an update to our registry that is going to allow us to increase the export resolution of our PowerPoint slides. And so I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my registry here. And you wanna pay very, very close attention to the location of where I'm making this update that I'm about to show you. It's going to be in your current user settings. You're going to want to go to software, find your Microsoft folder, and then just follow everything to Office 16.0 PowerPoint options, or it's going to look something more or less uh, like that in your registry. I will say that I've had instances uh, on my own computer or on uh, the computers of people who I teach where they don't actually have all of these folders. It's no problem. You can actually create this here on your own and it will still work just fine. You might just have to do a little bit of trial and error. But notice if I go over here to any of these folders in my registry path, if something happens and I get down here uh, into my office folder and I don't have 16.0 or PowerPoint or options, you can also just right click and create a new folder or as they're called here, keys. And you can just create the path on your own by just adding things to the registry. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back to 16.0 folder to my PowerPoint and I'm going to go to my options and this is where I'm going to create another new item in this part of my registry. I'm going to create a D word item and I'm going to call this export bitmap resolution and this is going to allow me to seriously up, like increase the export size of any slide that I take out of PowerPoint. So let me go ahead and demonstrate what changing this is going to mean. First, I'm gonna just close out of my command prompt. I'm gonna head back to PowerPoint and I'm going to export this slide that I created here. I'm gonna export this as an image. So I'm gonna save a copy. Instead of saving it as a PowerPoint, I'm gonna save it as a portable network graphics format, PNG. You can call it whatever you want to. I'm just going to call it image and I'm going to save it. And I just want to save this one slide. And now I'm going to pull up my folder and I'm going to find where that image saved. And it's right here. You can see it's 981 kilobytes. So pretty small. I'm going to pull back up my registry and I'm going to open up the item that I created and I'm going to swap this to decimal and I'm going to set it to 500. So you can see there's the 500 that I just inputted for my export bitmap resolution. If you're asking me what all of this is doing on a very technical level, I'll be honest, I don't have a clue. I just know that when I save this now, this, uh, J this PNG file that I'm gonna save is going to be considerably larger than the one that I just saved a moment ago. So let me save this as image two so that you can compare I'm going to save just this one. 
Notice the difference here between image two and the original image that I created. This file is considerably larger than the original. And what this means is that when you import this image into Power BI, you're, you're going to immediately notice just how much larger this image is. And it also means that all of the text in the second image is going to be that much crisper. So let me just go ahead and open uh, Power BI and literally show you what a huge difference that makes. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my Canvas background. I'm gonna find where I saved the first image, I'm gonna bring that in, and I'm just gonna go ahead and insert something here to get rid of all of these default prompts that Power BI gives you when there's nothing on the page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a blank button in the corner here. And if you look at this text, Notice that it's just a little bit blurry. I mean, it's definitely still readable. It's not necessarily something that you couldn't use, but it does look low res. So let me go ahead and create another page and tell you what, I'm also going to grab that button. I'm just going to copy it over here so that I don't have the same problem. I'm going to go ahead and go to Canvas background. I'm going to browse. I'm going to bring in image two and I'm gonna set my transparency to zero. Notice how gigantic the second image is in the background. It's so big, in fact, that I am gonna to have to adjust my fit settings from normal to fit. But also, notice how much crisper all of this text looks compared to this one, which is just a little bit blurry on the sides. And that's just the difference for you know fairly large text. If this text was a lot smaller, it would be even blurrier on this slide. So, so that's just all the reason why you're definitely gonna to wanna to make sure that you open your registry and either find or create the export bitmap resolution D word value in your registry so that you can make that update and make the images or the slides that you're exporting um, from PowerPoint large enough that you're gonna have that sort of fidelity around your text and all of the images in your layout when you're exporting from PowerPoint. That's an absolutely essential step for a lot of the solutions that I'm recommending that sort of combine PowerPoint and Power BI. So I hope you found that useful. As you can see, it took me you know, 30 seconds to a minute to set up. Again, if your computer, uh, for whatever reason, happens to be missing this file path up here um, in your registry, you may have to create it, but I promise, you know, with maybe a little bit of trial and error and figuring out exactly where to put uh, your Microsoft Office 16.0 PowerPoint options folder, it will work. Uh, you know, at max, it should take you just a couple of minutes in tri of trial and error, but it will make all the difference in the world for your PowerPoint uh, exporting. So there you go. There you have it. I'm going to be using, obviously, PowerPoint and Power BI a lot in my videos. Can't wait for you to check out the next one. Thanks so much for this. Hope you found it useful.